Central Oregon's deer population is on the decline and wildlife officials are blaming humans. They say an increased human population is causing complications for the deer. Noah Chast explains. We should all be concerned, really. According to Sarah Gregory at the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, mule deer population near Metolius decreased close to 40% and population near Polina dropped nearly 30% during their last three-year testing period. The reason? Well, a few things, but Monty Gregg with Ochico National Forest says a good amount has been from human population growth. The level of use of by people on the land can offset um, the mule deer just from a disturbance perspective. The disturbances include an increase of traffic, fences, recreation, disease, and poaching. Greg and Gregory explain that deer typically migrate north during the warmer seasons and back south through the high desert during the winter. With more human obstacles, fewer deer make it through. However, Central Oregon isn't alone in this issue. Name a western state where deer occur and you will find population declines. Gregory says any increase of population has an effect on all wildlife. The roads that we build, the fences that we build, the houses that we construct, the, the recreation that we enjoy, all has an impact on, on every critter you, you can imagine. And both in terms of your organization and the average person, what can be done to help this population decrease? Feeding deer. Is, is a problem in a lot of neighborhoods. I would recommend that people not feed big game. We have a lot of tools in the toolbox for managing deer, so um, we, we can play a role in helping them too. Gregory's biggest recommendation is to be aware and considerate of the environment around you. We all have an impact and, and just thinking about that as we go about our daily lives and, and what we do around here. So the animals live here too. <laughs> in Ben, Noah Chast, News Channel 21.